Okay, today we're going to do a demo for you on a Brown and Sharp uh, 10 by 24 universal IDOD cylindrical grinder. Uh, now this is a fairly late model grinder, uh, I believe made in the 1980s, but uh, happens to be in wonderful condition. Uh, this is factory paint. Uh, when you see the photos of the electrical cabinet and the hydraulic box, uh, if you know these machines, you're going to be pretty impressed. Well, just to go over a few things, um, it's actually running right now. We have our external spindle running. Uh, we do have a wheel hub for this with a grinding wheel with a tooling. It's also got a swing down uh, ID attachment and uh, we have several different arbors that go in the spindle there for different size stuff. Uh, you've got the hand wheel, late model hand wheel with the fine feed dial in the center rather than the older style uh, crank that they had. Other than that, the machine uh, really didn't change a lot over the years. They, it was a good design and they stuck with it. Um, this has a double compound on the, on, the, on the wheel slide. In other words, if I loosen something up in the back, I can swivel this wheel head, put it on a certain angle, and you see that we're actually turning right here. Now, this bottom plate, intermediate plate, is an eccentric, so that actually could be swiveled so you can get either further back or closer into your workpiece. And then the bottom swivel swivels the entire infeed mechanism. So you can actually put this on a 30 degree angle and grind in at 30 degrees uh, if you wanted to grind a, a shoulder and a diameter at the same time. Uh, but basically an angle head grinder at 30 degree or whatever you wanted to set it at. You've got a headstock here that has a live and dead uh, we have the accessories to make it either way. Right now it's what we call live because it's spinning this magnetic chuck. Uh, if you were going to do ID grinding, this would fold down and you would put your work on the magnetic chuck or in a, a three-jaw chuck. Uh, all your controls are over here, your table speed, you have a dwell, you have a pick feed on the right side and pick feed on the left side, and then your increment that you're going to feed each time. Over here you have your uh, headstock speed and your start stop buttons and a couple other items that we'll go into later on. So this is currently wired for 220 volts. If I want to start the headstock, I turn it on here and I can adjust the speed with this. I want to start my table, I go to the next lever or next position on that lever and we reverse. The dogs are easily adjustable. You can lift them up and they push them down and they lock back in into that tooth pattern there so that they're, they're in there securely. The table speed is here. <clears throat> now these also have a selector switch here that if you didn't want to start your headstock and your table with this lever uh, in you know what they would I guess you would consider production grinding you can uh, do what they call hand wheel operated so now when I put this switch on the, on the hand wheel operated and come off the stop here it's going to start my work head and my table at the same time and as soon as I start my cross feed which is to use this lever you'll hear the relays clicking in there now we increment with each reversal. Now I can turn one side off. This is on and this is off. Right now they're both on, but I could turn one or the other off or have one on and one off or use them both as I am now. This knob in the center, adjust your increment. It'll feed down to uh, within a tenth, if not less than a tenth. Um, or up to about a thousandths or two thousandths per pass. Uh, let's see what else we could say about it. Um, we do have a dead stop here. I'm going to just stop the feed. When this gets around to the zero, there's a zero here. We have a dead pin in the back of the headstock, so it it's always stops at the same place. That's your zero. But if you needed to go beyond that, you lift up this lever and you can come in. Now Brown and Sharp is one of the only machines, I'm going to turn this hand wheel control off for a moment. 
Now Brown & Sharp is one of the only machines that have a selection here for external grinding and ID grinding. So um, right now in the external mode, when this hand wheel is turned counterclockwise, your wheel slide is moving in. If you were doing internal grinding, you set this lever to internal. Now when you turn that, when you turn clockwise, uh, you're moving in going clockwise. That's a nice feature to have if you're used to uh, a, a dedicated ID grinder like a Heald or a Cincinnati or, or one of the other manufacturers where you grind at the back of the diameter, at the back of the ring rather than at the front of them. Most machines that have a swing down or swing around have to feed in the coming, coming towards you. Uh, that's one of the things that make this nice. Um, in the ID grinding mode, there is no automatic infeed. The infeed in that case is, is, is by the operator, carefully by hand, which is a pretty good idea because you want to be careful to come back out of the part when you're done and back the machine up. So that's a, that's a good feature to have also. Just going to go put this back. There's also a course feature here, so if you were way in the back and you wanted to spin your, your slide forward quickly, you can by putting that in course. Here's your tailstock. Uh, this has a double spindle, so if you put another wheel on there, you could rotate this to the side to do face grinding on your part. That's a nice feature to have also. Over here is your adjustment for your taper. Unloosen these bolts here, these nuts on this side and that side, and you adjust here with this uh, to adjust out your taper. Now if we want to look over here on the table, this table full of goodies, see what we have here. Uh, we've got some centers that fit the headstock and the tailstock uh, when it's set up for a center in the headstock. Uh, when you take that chuck off, the inside of the taper will uh, accommodate that center. And then this is a faceplate that goes on there for grinding between centers or dead centers. This is a set of drive dogs uh, made by Brown and Sharp. This is a balancing stand to balance your grinding wheel. Uh, these are various different length and diameter quills for the ID spindle. Here's a small four jaw um, independently, each jaw you adjust independently uh, chuck. This is a little hardage uh, three jaw chuck. Uh, we have the grinding wheel with the flange. We also have the three leveling, isolation leveling pads that go with it. Uh, balancing weights for the wheel. This is a radius dresser that can do convex and con convex and, con and, and, convex and contour um, radiuses. This is a very nice uh, little dresser that the former owner made. This is a, a sign bar on here. You can slide this in and out and put a slide, side bar. And uh, you can adjust uh, angles at the side of your wheel or relieve the wheel or dress whatever kind of a dressing uh, angle you want to put on that wheel. This is a two-point steady rest. This is a little shoe that we have attached here so it doesn't get lost. This is another form of a dresser that would mount on the table. And this is a, a three-point um, steady rest. Now these are all original brown and sharp items, uh, so those are all nice to have. This thing over here, uh, I'm pretty sure you set this up on the machine somehow and use it to dress the wheel, although I'm not quite sure how they'd go about doing that. Um, but that's what that is, uh, usually if you have a diamond wheel. Um, right now this is equipped with a stone wheel. And there's an operators and ma maintenance manual here with the machine. So you got a lot of tooling uh, that goes with this. We also have a coolant tank with a pump. Uh, it's a really nice package. And again, uh, this machine is in really clean, really nice uh, condition. So we're going to stop the video here and we're going we're to come back and we're going to show you how to uh, swing down the ID attachment and how that all works. Thank you.